Hey, what's up guys? I'm Rick. And I'm Shane at Techspin. And we're here to see what new stuff is worth your money. Now the Logitech M331 Silent Plus is the wireless mouse we'll be checking out today. The M331 is Asia's version of the Logitech M330 released in North America. So let's see if the Logitech M330 or 331 wireless mouse will be a good match for your computing needs. The Logitech M331 Silent Plus wireless mouse is the M330 in America and retails for 649 NT or lists for $30. I'm reviewing the red model here and there's also black and blue variants available for the Asian market. The mouse measures 106 mm long by 68 wide and 39 high and uses Logitech 2.4 GHz wireless tech which transmits up to 10 meters or about 33 feet and comes with a one year warranty. Looks pretty nice like this. To open, on the back of the plastic clamshell, there are two raised tabs at the top to get the unit open, and actually this has already been opened, but it was pretty easy to pull the back panel apart. Inside is the mouse, backboard, and a warranty paper. This mouse works with Windows 10, also 7, 8, and RT, as well as Mac OS X 10.5 or later, Chrome OS, and Linux kernel 2.6 and above. Opening the bottom of the mouse, it ships with a USB receiver and a single AA battery which has a paper arrow to remove before the battery will work. So this mouse has been designed for right-handed users with a rest for your thumb. The M331 has a nice sheen on the top and contours to smaller sized hands. The side grips are slightly rubberized and textured plastic and it's a good grip at this price point. It also boasts a supposed 24 month battery life, automatically putting itself to sleep when not in use. When either first turned on or moved, the tiny green LED light comes on for almost 10 whole seconds. And while I would have liked a shorter time, at least it's not too short. So I guess that's a point in its favor. So the headline feature of the M331 Silent Plus would be its super silent button clicks. Logitech advertises that the mouse is 90% quieter than that Logitech M170, which is a standard budget mouse they offer. Let's listen. So it certainly is very quiet. Also the mouse wheel is quiet too, both for rolling and clicking. I found the mouse wheel didn't operate exactly like I'm used to, and that's due to smooth scrolling in the software being enabled by default. Wait, I thought there was no software. Well, there's no software in the box, but if you go to the Logitech website, you can grab a holy 143 meg download for the M330 or 331. It allows you to swap the left and right buttons, change pointer speed and turn off smooth scrolling or invert the mouse wheel direction. It can also alert you when the battery is running low and the most important, it allows you to pair up wireless mice or keyboards to the dongle, at least in theory. I tried both my Logitech M310T wireless mouse and my Logitech K270 wireless keyboards and it said the device was incompatible and that it couldn't pair. Then I tried my M310T again, but it joined up. Hmm, but my keyboard was still out of luck. Oh, and now my new M331 mouse was disabled. Jeesh. Returning to getting my M331 working, I turned the mouse off and on and tried to pair it with the original receiver, but it failed, which was kind of scary. I thought the old wireless mouse might be causing the issue, so I turned it off, tried pairing the M331 again, and luckily it worked. Now I wasn't able to get two devices working with an M331 receiver at the same time, and a quick search on Google and YouTube yielded no results on its successful pairing. So I grabbed my K270 unifying dongle and the tiny 4 meg software off the website and got it running in seconds. Now, will it go back to the original receiver? So I removed the new mouse from the unifying software, unplugged that dongle and put in the M331 dongle and went to Logitech options where I was able to re-add it on the first try amazingly. Please take a moment to like this video and if you like what you see then please do subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified when I upload new content. This is a lightweight mouse weighing in at just 90 grams with the USB receiver plugged in. 
so it's light and easy to use. The sensor is rated at 1000 dpi and is using invisible optic technology. Seems accurate and responsive. Okay, so for the uh, Logitech N331 wireless mouse, uh, I thought it was designed well. Um, it feels decent and it feels pretty sturdy. Um, I like the color options. Uh, they had a, a red and blue as opposed to the North Americans uh, black and rat gray. <laughs> rat gray, is that an actual color? Uh, it is now. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Um, it, it was really super quiet and occasionally I actually thought it was kind of broken because I was expecting to hear that click but at the same time I appreciated that uh, it was super quiet so that's a, it's a very novel feature. Uh, the mouse buttons are great. Uh, the scroll wheel is a little bit flat. Uh, I've noticed that on actually other uh, Logitech pointing devices, so it's not unique to this item. Yeah, I, I was. Uh, I'm used to the gaming mice where the uh, mouse wheel is a little rounded. So um, yeah, it was a little flat. It wasn't a big uh, negative on it, but uh, just a little. Uh, the tactile feel was a little bit different. So it's uh, good for you know medium or smaller sized hands. It really didn't support my hand at all because it is. You know, it's a smaller mouse in general, but uh, you think you might use it? Um, I'm a little bit heavy-handed for a, for a smaller mouse. Uh, my general preference tends to be a trackball, but that's not always practical, you know, um, sometimes for gaming or... Yeah, yeah. I was actually thinking of uh, replacing my uh, older uh, Blue uh, M310 mouse uh, with it, but... Uh, yeah, I think after feeling it for a little while and trying to use it for a little while, I, I like the, the bigger size mouse, even for uh, like a HTPC. You know, you think you want a small one on your coffee size table, but it doesn't take up that much extra space to have something that's comfortable. So, uh, but overall the mouse is great and it's good for uh, being quiet and also for, you know, small, medium sized hands. Yeah, the construction is sturdy. It is well made uh, and it quite certainly lives up to its uh, moniker. So I did like this mouse. It was barely audible unless you're in a quiet room and with a two year or so battery life, working up to 10 meters from the receiver, uh, it'll be great for a home theater setup also. For the price and what it can do, yes, I think this mouse deserves a seven with a caveat about the mouse's size and the requirement for its own USB port if your keyboard doesn't have a unified receiver. Now, and while the price is good and the quality is great and it has the unique feature of being silent, I don't feel justified handing it an award considering its software is bloated at 143 megs and may not work with another Logitech wireless product unless that one has a unifying receiver. I know my K270 keyboard, which uses the nano receiver, refused to connect. It's ridiculous that Logitech has two types of wireless receiver. They should, you know, just make the unifying one. They also need to centralize their software, similar to what Nvidia has done. I have four different programs on my HTPC now. Unifying software, the bloated M330, 331 software, Logitech gaming software for my Logitech G90 mouse, and set point for my K270 to remap the function keys for the home theater functions like launching Kodi. If you want a quiet mouse, this is your mouse. Though, if it isn't a big deal, I'd be looking at the M510 instead as it has the unifying receiver, as well as two extra thumb buttons for browsing you know, back and, and forth there. However, this is a great mouse, and if you can get a blue or red M331, you may really like it. Well, that's it for this review. So hit that thumbs up button if you thought it was good or thumbs down if it tanked. If you want to see more videos like this, then please do subscribe for new content and click that bell icon to get notified when I put up a new video. I always do read the comments. So if you have some questions or if I did miss something, then please let me know about it down below. And tell me what do you like to see next? Thank you all very much for watching. See you all again really soon. Bye for now.